you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three map Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Quite like this in professional sports, the magnitude of the UFC title fight, and tonight all eyes are on the undisputed UFC featherweight champion, looking to add another major scout to a resume that is full of big names already. Yeah, he's got a lot of big names on his resume already, but this guy doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. He seems so motivated to continue to build on his legacy. He's a, he's a great champion. He's a guy that lived for that championship belt and has all the skills to hold on to that title for a real long time. When you look at this top 15 on paper, it is just a wealth of talent. And yet, this is the guy they are all chasing, and he has no intention of relinquishing the throne tonight. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They would lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. All right, Herb Dean, third man ready in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Takedown defense holds up. Nice jab up top by Lee. Another strike to the head land. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Oh, nice over. Immediately gets the underhook. And now some separation. Ooh, the head kick lands. He's hurt. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just went and started fighting. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Lee gets caught by the inside leg. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, he lands that tee. Big knee there. Some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. Pretty strong jab there by Elkins. Back in the clinch, look for a takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. He's got to do better than that defensively. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under three minutes to go in round one. Hook to the headlands, flush there by Elkins. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Beautiful leg kick lands. Back and forth we go. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you 
you see a fighter with high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. And they separate. Oh, wow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great block there. Oh, all time. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, nice takedown defense. Elkins going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Now he's going full mount. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. He's got to be careful here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out. And now he's a different choke. Yep, that gets his deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Big ground pound. Ten seconds now in round one. Oh, he's got his back. Great shot from the top position. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Elkins is in half guard. Get the ball here. This is where he wants to be. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. the elbow. Now he's got a good body position, yo. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Elkins has got the full mount. Nice shot there by the champ. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Nice positional control here. In the half guard, 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Elkins. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Good work from the top here by Elkins. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He's now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to go out damage with the ground pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Lee's in half court. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the face. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 30 seconds to go in round two. <laughs> Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Darren Elkins. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Change of the position. Right. Two rounds in the books. Hey, stop. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, no surprise. He can... Whoa! And now left. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now that's Everywhere he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Checks that leg kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Lee's left calf really starting to show signs of bruising now. Takedown defense holds up. Right now they separate. 
Oh, and he caught the kick. Big knee there. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Oh, lands a nice straight. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful. He's look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Under three minutes to go in our third round. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Combination landed by Lee. Oh, high kick. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, body shot. Any body kick may finish his fight. It doesn't have to be a drop one up the middle. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Got checked. Under a minute to go. Now tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another big shot to the head. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Ooh, big shot lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. The fighters separate. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, All right, that's God. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Right hook to the head block. Elkins is really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big right hook there by the champ. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh! him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy it. He got hurt again. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at the top. He's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Slips the punch. And he lands that sidekick. Huge block there. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Elkins gets hit by that kick to the body. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh! Oh! oh. He's hurt bad. Oh! With authority, the body. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He's cut on his nose. Man, oh! Now he's back up. That leg can hurt. on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. 